anyone who has played The Witcher 3 knows that it's a fantastic game. It is loaded with beautiful scenery, interesting and dynamic characters, thrilling gameplay, and in-game decisions that actually affect the story. But with all of these great features come the glitches, and The Witcher 3 is full of them. So sit back and watch as I show you many of the bloopers, moments of broken physics, and silly mishaps that I came across with my time with Geralt. But be warned, there are some minor spoilers ahead. Any better? There are all kinds of oddities in The Witcher 3, like the time I found a group of jars that appeared to be possessed by the devil. Or when Triss forgot to put out her magical flame, then caught her head on fire. Once I caught a barrel ring around Geralt's neck, purely by chance. I did have quite a bit of difficulty shaking it off, though. But sometimes the glitches aren't so laughable. Here I am fighting one of the late game bosses. He got stuck in the corner, making what would have been an excellent fight really quite boring. I also found that textures would have difficulty loading at times. I had to double check my own vision with this one. Or here, when Geralt jumps into the water? Oh, there it is. I thought this lake had an odd look to it, but I decided to go for a swim anyway. Is it just me, or is this wall getting more detailed? Siri. Other times it was more Siri. than the textures that needed to load. In this scene, an entire house is being built. Cutscenes and during the dialogue is where most of the problems occurred. Brooms would fade in and out. This guy found a helmet. Can I get the door for you? No need. Selecting a response here changed the entire setting. I don't even know what was supposed to happen here. This guy talked to me for 10 minutes with an arrow sticking out of his hand. 10 minutes! Sometimes NPCs would stray into the scene when they weren't supposed to. What are you even doing, crab? Some NPCs would just vanish, you know like this guy. And this guy. Lead the way. She was supposed to disappear, but her hair didn't get the memo. No one even cared to show up for this scene. You know where to find me? Do I? Speaking of not showing up, these guys' torsos came late to the party. This villager was missing much more than his torso. So much of him was invisible that I really didn't even know what I was dealing with. Mercy. Oh, sorry. Here I wasn't sure if most of the barrel was invisible or if just a piece of it was floating in the air. I found all sorts of things hovering motionless in the air. Like arrows. Clubs. Mugs. Monster guts. I once knocked a toy sword out of a child's hand, and instead of it crashing back down to the ground, it simply stayed exactly where it was when he let go of it. This horse's tail is without a horse. And there are plenty of other problems with the horses too. I know Roach isn't fond of scaling stairs, but I got him so badly stuck here that I had to reload the game. Horses don't care much for gravity and they have very little respect for the authority of doors. Properly dismounting a horse can be a real challenge. Especially if the rider is forced off. But humans in The Witcher 3 aren't much better than the horses. This guy completely forgot how to walk. Scaling a ledge can be a little tricky. Now Geralt is just showing off here. It's best to keep both your feet planted firmly in the ground. Keep your distance. Or else you might pull a wily e. coyote. But if you do find yourself taking a tumble, just hope there is some water to break your fall. Plus, you can get in for a nice refreshing swim. And broken physics doesn't end with death. Like this harpy's lifeless body that never quite falls into the water or this decapitated warrior with amazing balance. And this down city guard just can't seem to stay down. 
A corpse with an upskirt fetish? Uh, this is completely inappropriate. But what is even more disturbing is that these children are in school in the middle of the night while there are drunkards and hooligans roaming the streets. I've spent the last several minutes poking fun of a bunch of tiny details of what is honestly a terrific game. There is so much to do and so many alternate storylines giving The Witcher 3 excellent replayability. You could easily spend hundreds of hours with this game, and with that much content, you're sure to run into a few glitches along the way. Thank you for watching, everyone. And now, I leave you with a compilation of Geralt tripping over minor obstacles.